Hello and welcome back to the series where you're learning Go programming language. So in this video we will talk how we will set up Go language in our system. So first of all we need to go to the here the golang.org website you can see that the golang programming language the golang.org and then you can easily see this big button download go you need to click on that button and once you click on that button you will have the options the stable versions or the featured downloads so you can find any of the download from here to uh, there are a lot of download options, but I'm just gonna go to these four one of uh, these four so You can see that the Microsoft Windows Apple a Mac OS Linux or the source so Because I'm gonna teach you using the Microsoft Windows So I'm gonna use this one But if you have these systems you can use any of the system anyway, I'm clicking here Microsoft Windows okay now your download you know should begin shortly if it does not click this link but I do not need to click on that link because it is actually working fine here it's getting downloaded now you can see that it is downloaded here I just need to click on this one and it's opening then you know the Google LLC which is actually a verification that it is coming from the Google sources so all good I need to run on that it's asking me what I just want to do I just want to install this setup so now click on the next button now absolutely we have to accept the terms now the next button again now it's asking for the place where I just want to install the location I'm just clicking on the next button now it's simply asking me to install it I click there now it's processing uh, yes now it's validating the install and um, it will take a few minutes to install the go language in our system it is pretty easy many different languages we often use we have to use the npm or different kind of package managers for php there is a different manager like composer for javascript technologies we use npm but this one is simply the installer of the you know the simple exe installer nothing more complex so you just need to click on the next button and next button and install button and there you need to click on the finish button and it is in your system now this actually have done a lot of things you can see that when you install it the windows msi installer so this is how you need to install it open the msi files and follow the prompts to install the go tools but the interesting thing is the installer should put the c go bin directory in your path environment variable you may need to restart any open command prompts for the change to take effect setting environment variables under window if you actually want to uh, set up the environment variables you can choose these options but this is not the point by now because we already did that using the go installer now all we need to verify if it is actually working fine so we need to make a script in the go language by now so I'm going there and I'm actually inside a folder which name is golang I'm making a new file here and inside this file I'm just gonna save it like this and the name should be like you know test dot go okay the format should be test dot go I mean you can add instead of test you can put index you can put the home you can put the anything like that but the extension must be dot go and then click on the save button now there is the file now I'm gonna put some commands you may don't understand by now but you need to be patient because I will be teaching what I'm doing package main line break import fmt line break func main parentheses and the curly braces and the fmt dot print ln And here I'm gonna type something like hello world okay I have 
written something like you know the I have made a function here first of all I just uh, loaded a package then I imported fmd from that package then I re ran a function here I call the function here I'm gonna run that function you know so where I'm gonna run that function I'm gonna run that function in the PowerShell so there is a PowerShell first of all I need to write go then run then test dot go okay before doing anything you need to make sure that your actually your powershell is actually located in a position where your file is like you can see that the uh, the official the tutorial jerry benfield golang and there is a go uh, there is a test dot go this file is actually in exact location where I just opened my PowerShell. You can see that the, the address of the file, the Jerry Benfield Golang and slash test go. So I opened the PowerShell in the Golang folder. You can see that. So here I need to now press the line break, the enter key, and now there hello world is visible here. That means this script is working. That means we just have set up the go language in our system so in the next video we will talk about some more different things of the go language till then stay tuned